again. Uh, no, none of my ugly mug in this video today. I'm at, at work. But, um, recently I've watched some videos on people making some their own convolution reverbs, etc. Um, and I've been using Reaper. Um, and most of my surprise, they've not used reverb to do it. They've been using things like Deconvolver from Voxengo and all the rest of it. Well, I wanted to show you today a way, a really simple way that you can do all of this from within Reverb, which I've got up on the screen here in front of me. Um, you can create your own convolution reverbs. In this particular case, I've um, made one from a, a Spring Reverb and a PV Bandit. I'll let you hear quickly what I've done. So you can hear, the, it's just a little snare drum, and you'll hear the reverb. Okay. So, very simply, what we do is we add a file. Now I'm going to click cancel here because I don't want to actually put a file in. All I'm trying to do is open up this text box here, which is generate test tone and deconvolve. So first and foremost, we've got to generate a test tone. It'll ask you to share a test tone somewhere. So let's um, put it in my little folder here where I had it saved. Now I've already saved the test tone here because as you can see I've already made the reverb. But I just called it test tone and saved it in that folder. So I'm not going to do it again, but as you can see I've done that. So then what I have to do is hook up the output of my sound card. Um, in this case I used a headphone amp. I used an output from, well, I've got PreSonus um, 1642 here, so I would sent an aux out to a headphone amp, and then from the headphone out, you know, output, I sent it into the return of the effects loop of the PV Bandit, because all I want to record here is the spring reverb that's within the PV Bandit. Now, this could be, you could just hook up some mic, uh, hook up a speaker to your... Um, sound card and record a room then record you know set up some mics as i'm going to do i had to record the, the pv bandit back into reaper here um so you could say hook up a speaker and record a stairwell whatever you want to do okay but I, just in this case i'm just recording the spring reverb of the amp so i hooked that up sent that out to the headphone amp then from the headphone amp into the return of the effects loop the pv bandit and then in front of the PV Bandit, I did two lots. I did uh, a, a mono recording with one... I used F SM57s for both of these. So I had one SM57 originally, and then I did it with two to give myself some kind of stereo um, signal. So then what you do is very, very simply is obviously record. So set your, your uh, track up to record and play your test tone, which I'll let you hear now. Please watch your ears. Um, I, in fact, what I'll do is I'll turn it right down because it gets quite loud. And I'll just play you what the test tone is that we've triggered. So that's the test tone that um, Reaper, the Reverb generates, okay? So I recorded that in first with my mono mic, then I recorded it again with my stereo microphones, okay? So then, obviously, save your project, because what will happen then is the audio is now saved into your project, making it quite easy to find. You can render them to another place if you want, but I just found this the quickest way to do it. So what we want to do now is hit the Deconvolve button, and this dialog box will open up, and it's what it's asking you for is to open the file that you want Deconvolved. So we want, or that in other terms, our recordings, okay? So in here we have our audio. So as you can see, I actually um, um, normalized the volumes on these and then re-rendered them. So that's why it's coming up as this render one glued because I rendered it as a new take and then glued it. So that's both of these. So this is my mono. So I simply open it up and then it opens up this box because it wants to know the test tone that you used okay so obviously we generated that test tone and saved it which is here as we named it test tone so we open that and then it asks us where we want to save our impulse response so i put it in the same just to keep things simple i kept it all within this project um, 
and I called it, it's the PV Bandit Spring Mono. Okay, so then you save that. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but you save it and then it will just open up straight off in your um, project. So if we open up our Bandit Spring Mono, now we have our reverb. So if I let you hear that, so that's our mono. But then I did exactly the same thing with the stereo file. So I did the deconvolve, found the um, Bandit Spring Stereo glued here, Bandit Spring Stereo rendered glued. Opened it, opened up the test tone, and then saved it into the same folder. So then if we go in here, you'll find we've got our stereo. So whatever name you give, you know, will show up. And so that's our stereo reverb recording into there. As I said, you could just hook up a couple of mics and a speaker and record a room, record a stairwell, any kind of interesting space that you want to turn into a reverb, you can do this. It doesn't have to be a guitar amp. Really easy, very simple, all within the one plugin and you're producing your own reverbs. And I mean, from there, as all of you should know with Reverb, you've got, you know, filters, you can high and low pass, you've got all the um, time gain stretch, you know, all sorts of stuff you can do, you can gain it, um, you know, whatever you want to do. You've also got all your normalization if you want to turn it down or up. It's all there within Reverb. So hope that's useful to you guys and hope you um, make use of it. Um, I would like to ask, I've no, I'm not into the statistics thing, but I've noticed that about 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. You know, give me a little comment, but please, if you're going to give negative comments, at least be a subscriber, because I'm just going to totally ignore you otherwise, um, as I've had a couple in the recent past. So anyway, well, let's not go there. So thank you for your time. I hope this is of use, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.